I'm not going to bother with a little uh, reminder because if you've bloody hell, if you're watching this, you probably watched the first bit. All right, so we've got some mountains. So I could just show you how I'm going to do hills. I could show you how I'm going to do plains. It's exactly the same as mountains, so I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to show you something I saw some other YouTuber do, which was quite good. So let me get our aero speed wagon turned down a bit. Hey, thank you. Okay. So I talked about uh, rivers, I think. Here we go. I've got a neat little uh, blue line. In fact, just to make that a little clearer. There we go. I have this little drawing. Where is it? Sketch. You can see we've got a little river running through stuff. So we want to recreate that. So let's do it. All right. Get the right dock. As to where this goes, is it? You know, geographically possible, does it matter? Who cares? Um, so we're going to have a river, and we're going to have a, a lake as well. So we're going to have the river go into the lake, and again, just to make it a bit clearer on your screen. Come on. And I'm sure there's a shortcut to make this like full screen. <laughs> there must be, right? Right click, transform. Ah, oh, look at that. Fit the screen. There we go. Okay. So, bottom left, we've got a lake, so I want to recreate that, keep a bit of mystery in between. Uh, pow. Okay. Where do we begin? Well, don't think I need that note layer. That's only got to get in the way. Is this good to have? Yes. Yes, we'll keep that one there. All right. So, we've got our river and lake layer. So, first things first, we're going to just roughly... <laughs> Very roughly. Just draw out where we're going to get this to go. In fact, I might even just go for it. Yes, maybe we'll do that. Okay, the next thing. Let's get a nice brush. Why not? Since I've clearly had to play around with this ahead of time, elliptical 5.3, what size are we looking at? Perfect. Okay. So. Swanee visits the Lake District quite a lot. We have quite a lot of lakes and stuff that uh, sort of head up into the hills up here. So maybe here might be a nice little spot to just draw a couple of little, little lakes. Some rivers coming down from the mountains. And then we'll have those merged together into one sort of large uh, river. Um, so let's just think placements of some lakes. Maybe here we'll do. Wow, look at that. Amazing, beautiful. Neil Buchanan couldn't do any better than this. Uh, we don't want to go absolutely crazy. Just some. Just a bit of flavour. Do you want something long going in here, maybe? Alright, we can colour all this uh, more in future. In terms of particular rivers and things, well, it does it really matter how many of these we put on. Not really. Not really. Just some. Uh, let's get some coming from down here. Okay, I'm going to generally get these going in this direction, I think. So, let's say we want to get to around here. Why don't we put those around there? That, that'll do. Oh, hell. oh, it helps just add a little bit of shape to it all. You can almost imagine the valleys going on. Um, let's get you travelling around here, and same for you. Okay, great. Now we've got the two come together, we'll make that it was a little bigger. If I was really thinking about this, I would use a wider brush. <laughs> right. Okay, and we can always add more to that later. All right. So now that we kind of got these uh, all coming together, we will do a, a kind of a much uh, thicker river. So I'm just going to do one 
side of it to begin with and I'm not going to worry too much about where it's flowing it really just doesn't matter rivers tend to do their own thing uh, I suppose the question is where's our lake going to be around there somewhere so we've got quite a way to go let's best zoom out now what I do want here is very deliberately I want a kind of a, a continuous unbroken line and that'll all make sense when I show what I'm going to do next. Timings, we'll just kind of stick to our little uh, little drawings here. And let's say our lake starts about there. Sure. All right, let's do this uh, little, this part of the lake. Where, how should we go? Do we want to adhere to this shape up here? Again, just a reminder of, <laughs> not that one, bang. Do I want to keep that lake shape? I'm not particularly bothered. It doesn't really matter. So let's uh, so let's not make it take up too much of the screen space. There we go. Why not? That'll do. Okay. Uh, now for the other part of this river. Let's imagine it really starts to open up at this point. And keep it generally a little thinner towards the start and it can start to to widen and open up as more land and more water we keep going Ooh. and we can put in more interesting features along the way none of it really matters just now we also got a little way to go yet Okay, and let's from there open up the lake. Let's take it in this direction. Okay, great stuff. Now then, that looks absolutely fantastic, I think. It's a little bit of character already. Let's, uh, if I take away the doodles in the background, you can see there, you, you can tell what's going on, right? I mean, of course I could add in more noodly bits down in the corner, down and around these mountains, and I probably will do that, but you don't need me, need me to show you how to do that. Okay. This bit might be useful though. So um, I'm going to bring up this large image again. And unfortunately, I don't think my, I can't really show you my cursor on the screen. But looking at that lake, if I can make it a little larger, you can sort of see the sort of uh, the lake that sits within the lake. Those little, those little bits around the edge. And uh, there was a really good... YouTube videos saw about how to kind of make that. So let, let's uh, let's see how it's done. First things first, it just involves using the uh, the magic wand tool. So clicking inside the river and the lake here, we can see we've, we've selected this, this body, right? And um, I'm also gonna select these little lakes in the corner with the plus. So we're just holding down the um, shift to make that happen. There we are. So we've got those, those sort of sections of the image um, selected. Uh, now I'm going to create a new layer and worry about the names later. Now I always forget which of these it sits up on. Maybe it's select, modify, contract. Completely arbitrary values here, but I'm going to contract that selection by five pixels. All right. You'd have to have very sharp eyes to be able to see that on your screen. But you have to trust me, the selection is now a little bit thinner than what I just had. Okay, so what am I doing next? Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say make work path. And it's going to say, hey, you know, how exact do you want that work path to be? So whatever, two pixels is what it recommends, not the tolerance, sure. Okay. Right, you're thinking that's it, right? I've got my little line inside, that's that's what I was doing. No, I'm only partly done. Really what this has done so far is it, it's drawn the work path. Now we actually need to get it to apply the brush to that work path. So on the right hand side, I'm gonna to go to paths, and as if by magic, there is, there's a work path. Now making sure I've got my new layer selected, which is currently called layer one, I'm gonna right click on that work path, and I'm gonna say stroke path. So it's gonna apply my brush to that path, and there we are, we're done, we're in. Now I'm gonna do that a couple of more times, and it'll be a little bit, uh, more obvious as we go along as to what is happening here. So I'm just gonna hide that first bit of river and I'm gonna go again. So I'm gonna get my wand, I'm gonna select this lake 
and river, he says. Oh, yes, you've gone a little narrow, haven't you? Okay, what do I do? Oh, no, it's got, I've got the wrong layer selected. Oh, dummy. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind here, although I've selected this first little bit, it hasn't selected quite everything I want to. You see this little area here? So again, holding down shift, pick up those little gaps in the middle. Ooh. Getting a little overexcited. And again, oh, hello, steady on, son. <laughs> Let's zoom out, please. Okay, right. So we've got layer two selected, and we, we go again. We're going to go select, modify, contract, and we'll do another five. I generally do five, five, 30, I think. Do I? Five, five, 10 today? It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. We'll go another five. So we've constructed again. We're going to right click. We're going to say, hey, could I have a work path, please? And work path, could you please draw yourself? Bang. All right, looking good. Okay. We go again. One more this time. Getting more and more little fiddly noodly bits. Let's create a new layer. We'll call it layer three for now. Select, modify, contract. Oh, hell. We'll do 10. Crazy. <laughs> Here we go. Contracted by 10. We right click, make it a work path. Yo okay. Draw it with stroke path. Apply. Okay. One last time now. And then we're done. New layer. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> Magic one time. Select all the little noodly bits, of which there's quite a few. I'm not going to bother with the two small ones because I'm going to do a real uh, contraction now. Let's go wild. Let's contract this. We go select, modify, contract. Let's go wild with 30 pixels. Whew. Madman. Make it a work path. Okay. Select pass. Right click work path. Stroke path. Okay. There we are. Done it. Okay, let's reveal all these layers. There we go. What a mess, right? Well, they all look good. A little bit better soon. What we're trying to simulate here is kind of the uh, sort of the lapping waves against the shore. So right now this looks all a little bit terrible because of course it's all quite it's all quite strong, isn't it? It's uh, it's not looking too great. The group those. All right, so we've got our outer line, which is the river and lake on here. We've got our layer one, which is the next line in. Next line in, next line in, and the smallest bits right in the middle. I think we can actually get rid of this path now. Delete path, okay. So what we'll do this time is we're just gonna change the opacity here, and I don't know what figures, we're just gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna go 50% in the first one, maybe 60, 70, Oop. I need to be working in opposites here. 20. Drop you down to a 30. Drop you down to a 40. There we go. How's that looking? Well, in terms of the rest of the river, not bad. Might want to just play around with that opacity a little bit more. Uh, what you will have spotted, however, is how I've done this. We end up with a real mess on this side. Because, of course, when we've done our magic wand section, it's just taken it to the edge of the uh, the document here. Now, there are several ways around it, and I'll show you the painful way of doing it, <laughs> but there is a little, uh, there's a neater way. What we could have done is when we made our lake, uh, going back to drawing this on a separate layer, hang on, very nearly mashed a delete button there. It wouldn't have been the first time I've done that. What we could have done is we could have, uh, you know, had our noodly river and then over our lake, now, imagine our document kind of ended here. What we could have done instead is we might have wanted to move our river and lake just so it's in the middle of the document, done all of this activity, and then move this off to one side, and it would have been perfect, and we wouldn't have had to edit anything further. Uh, but you're learning the way I'm learning it. And the way I did it, the way I resolved this mess is exactly as you can imagine. 
the long, arduous process of getting out your eraser and doing it yourself, all by hand. Wonderful stuff. So we'll just annihilate those little edges. Same for layer two. Layer three. And again, you know, probably want to take a lot more care of this than, than what I'm putting in. And then we just draw those kind of uh, those edges in yourself. So maybe it went to there. There we go, perfect. You wouldn't know, certainly at this zoom. Uh, and I will uh, do the same on the left-hand side, um, but perhaps just not right now. Um, so that's really all I've got to show you on this bit. Uh, I will be spending probably the rest of the afternoon filling in a couple of hills and a couple of um, planes stuff. Not sure yet, uh, but what I will probably come back to is showing you um, the little noodly details such as trees and buildings, things like that. Um, just kind of sharing with you some of the tips that I've had along the way. Uh, so that's it. So until next time, goodbye.